Hello and welcome to this video where I show you how to enable the Ubuntu Bash shell uh, on top of Windows 10. Uh, Microsoft has worked with Canonical to enable the full Linux user subsystem, actually sorry, the full Ubuntu user subsystem that allows you to run the native Bash right on top of the Windows command line. So if you're a developer or, if you, or someone with, or an enthusiast who loves working with a Linux terminal, you can now do it natively on top of Windows and enjoy all the Linux command line apps uh, right on top of Windows without using a virtual machine. So let's get uh, let's get right to it. Uh, so to enable the Bash shell on Windows, uh, you need to be running the Windows 10 Anniversary Update. Um, so once you have the Windows 10 Anniversary Update running, uh, click uh, click on the Start button and click on the Settings icon. In settings, click on update and security, and then on the right, uh, left hand side, make sure to go to the devel for developers section. There, make sure to uh, have developer mode enabled. By default, uh, Windows is set to sideload apps, so you'll need to click developer mode and accept the uh, ca word of caution. Basically, it says don't don't download stuff from places you don't trust because that's not safe. Uh, once you have that in, uh, done, you could close the settings up and do a search on, uh, for turn features on or off so turn see before I could finish typing uh, the suggestion shows up shows the uh, what I want you could also have uh, done that search from within the settings app so if I do turn features uh, uh, you see that uh, option so basically click that and you have this window where you can uh, turn uh, various Windows features now we want to turn on the bash feature so Find something that says Windows Subsystem sus Windows Subsystem for Linux. For me, it says Beta because it's still in preview. But depending on when you're watching this, it might be out of beta. So make sure to find something that says Windows Subsystem for Linux and check it. And then click OK. Now Windows is going to install that feature and then ask you to restart the computer. So I'll uh, be right. I'll, I'll restart the computer and be right back. All right, everybody. I have restarted my computer. Uh, now let's just to uh, verify. Let's see. Let's just see if we have uh, Linux subsystem installed. So let's go to Turn Features. Um, hmm. There. And then let's see if that's checked. Um, Windows. Yes, that's checked. So next, we need to open up Command Prompt as, as an administrator. To do that, right-click on the Start button and click command prompt ad admin if you see PowerShell here instead you could do a search on the start screen or uh, the taskbar tapping command prompt oh. well and then do a right click whoops a right click and then click run as administrator and then here click OK when you're asked uh, security or authentication and when command prompts open, you need to uh, type in here uh, bash, B A S H. Whoop. Now it says a bash feature. Uh, this will install Ubuntu on Windows, distributed by Canonical, and licensed under its terms of available here. Uh, HTTPS colon slash slash aka dot ms slash uh, wow terms. W O WTRMS. Uh, type Y to continue. <coughs> it says downloading from the Windows Store. Now this is going to take some while because if, uh, I think it's a little more than a gigabyte or maybe almost a gigabyte worth of uh, files so you would need to wait until this is done. So I'll pause the video and then I'll come back after this is done. See you in a bit. Okay, everyone. Uh, I finished. I waited until uh, this is finished downloading and extracting the files. Now it's it says installation is complete. Uh, uh, installation is successful. Uh, please enter a Unix username. Uh, let's call myself Nasmus. And then press enter. Please enter a password. Type in the password again. Password uh, updated successfully. The environment will start momentarily, and as you can see, I am on uh, 
I'm uh, running uh, a bash. I'm on the uh, uh, system32 folder. Now I think I could do um, lsb underscore release. Okay, now that we have set up a user account and a password for our Linux environment, uh, we could now uh, return to bash at any time by in two different ways. One is by typing in bash in the search option in the taskbar. And you could see bash, bash Ubuntu, bash on Ubuntu on Windows. Or you could um, right, open up command prompt and then, uh, and then t just type in uh, the bash command on the command prompt. And then now you're in bash. Uh, let's go back to the root directory. And uh, let's try some Linux command. Let's see ls. And you can see this is all my uh, Linux folders in the, the, on the Ubuntu subsystem. Or, or uh, sorry, the, on Ubuntu that's installed on top of Windows 10. Uh, now let's see Let's see the what version of Ubuntu we're running. So uh, lsb release slash a. As you can see, it says distributor ID Ubuntu. Description of button to 14.04.4 LTS long term service, long term support. Uh, soon, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's Ubuntu 6 LTS 16 is coming up. So, I think uh, in, in, within a few, few months, uh, uh, you'll be able to download the Ubuntu LTS 16.04 uh, uh, from the Windows Store. Uh, so, yeah, so this is Ubuntu and uh, you're running Bash. So, if you have any questions or comments, please uh, list, them on, list them in the comment section below. I'm Nazmashib Kandekar and I hope you have a great day. Goodbye.